Hi there, and thanks for joining me as we talk about the non-selective beta adrenergic blocking agents. Propranolol and Tymolol are the non-selective beta adrenergic blocking drugs. They're also called non-selective beta blockers, non-selective beta antagonists, and non-selective beta sympatholytic agents. The apex OLOL refers to the beta blockers, but it does not tell you that that drug is a selective beta-1 blocker or a non-selective beta blocker. Propranolol and Timolol are non-selective beta adrenergic blocking agents, meaning that they block the actions of adrenaline or an epinephrine in the United States on the beta-1 and the beta-2 receptors. Propranolol and Timolol are frequently used to decrease blood pressure. And as a matter of fact, Propranolol was the prototype of the beta blockers, and at one time it was the first-line treatment for hypertension. The non-selective beta receptor blockers have more side effects than selective beta blockers, and let's take a look at why that is. The non-selective beta adrenergic antagonists block the actions of adrenaline on the beta-1 receptor and the beta-2 receptor. The desired effects of propranolol and timolol come from blocking of the beta-1 receptor, and the main beta-1 receptor relevant to propranolol and timolol is on the heart. In the heart, these drugs will decrease the heart rate and decrease the contractility. The overall effect of that is going to be a decrease in cardiac output and a decrease in blood pressure. So that's where we get our desired effect, but it can also lead to some of our side effects, including bradycardia, hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, headaches, and dizziness. In contrast to the beta-1 receptors, the beta-2 receptors are on the lungs. So they're on the smooth muscle of the bronchi. And normally in an adrenaline response, that binding actually results in a dilation. As we're blocking that binding, that dilating action, we're actually in effect constricting the bronchi. So this is where we've got some more of our adverse effects of shortness of breath, and it makes propranolol and timolol contraindicated in people with asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And now we understand most of the reasons behind the side effects of propranolol and timolol. But these agents also cause sleep disturbances, such as insomnia, vivid dreams, and nightmares. So what's the reason behind that? Well, propranolol and timolol are highly lipophilic agents, and that means that they're going to break the blood-brain barrier, and that's where their actions of vivid dreams and nightmares come in. Finally, there is one other use for timolol, and that's in the form of eye drops. Timolol can actually decrease the pressure in the eye, or in other words, it's valuable in the treatment of ocular hypertension and glaucoma.